In this House of Logic video, we're going to have a look at what you need to do in order to increase the size of swap memory on your Proxmox host. Uh, so what you will find within Proxmox, if you go to the summary page uh, underneath the various details you have on here, you can see that you have a, uh, a value here that says swap usage. Now in my case it actually says zero, so I'm not actually swapping any memory out at all uh, into the virtual memory um, volume or partition, um, depending on uh, how you want to want to look at it. Um, basically what is um, what is going on here is, is actually operating absolutely fine. However, under some circumstances, you might find that um, that you end up with a lot of swapping going on in terms of whatever I.O. you've got, in terms of whatever RAM demands and so on that are operating on the hosts. Now, it's uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through actually generating that load in order to, to demonstrate the, the usage, but safe to say you can see this creep up very high if you have a lot of activity on the hosts. Um, so what you want to do, first of all, is you want to put any VMs that are running on that um, host into a suspend state or move them off to another machine, another node, um, which is able to cope with the load. Now, in our case, we're just going to go and actually hibernate this particular VM. There's only the one, so it's uh, it's not too much in terms of a um, amount of effort to go through. So we'll just give that a second or two to suspend and then we can carry on with the rest of the activity. Okay, so the VM has suspended. If we go back to the host now, what we can now do is to pick the host node and then we want to use the shell option. Now, that should get us, in my case, straight in as I'm logging in as root, but you do need to log in as root if you're logged in as a different user. Um, and what you want to do, uh, first of all, is you want to have a look at what you've actually got in terms of the um, the LVM volume groups and the amount of space you have there. So if you run the command VGS, then this will actually show you what the volume group um, size is, how much, and how much space you've got free on there. So this is telling us that the um, the PVE volume group has got a size of uh, 99 point. Uh, five zero gigabytes with um, less than 12.383 and if we then run the next command which is LVS it will show us um, what the swap size is so in our case the swap size is reporting as uh, as uh, four gig now let's say we we're not happy with that and we want to increase that size so what we're going to do first of all is we're actually going to disable swap on the uh, on the host and we can just use the swap off a command for that and what we should see there we go is it actually says swap usage not applicable within proxmox so swap file has been completely disabled um, because we've got some space and there are there are other commands that you can use in terms of uh, resizing the different data volumes and so on um, is uh, we can actually just do a straight up resize on the dev pve swap volume so to do this we just can put in lv resize dash l plus two gig and then the actual swap file size swap file um, device name so pop that one in and that's gone through now you need to actually uh, reformat the um, the swap volume to make sure it can all be used and that consists of the mk swap command and the same uh, device name so that's telling us the, the name of it and then finally the last command is actually to turn swap back on which we'll do with a specific part uh, partition or volume um, name on this and that pass that one through and then if we do an LVS again then we can see what we've got so previously we had uh, four gig we should see six now so it's now saying, um, oh, sorry, whoops, have I just gone and extended that again? I have. I meant to, oh, uh, there we go. Let's repeat the process. We'll go all the way up to, uh, let's, this is going to be interesting. A little bit of live troubleshooting. Swap off for everything. Let's go and do it again. And then if I can actually get the right command this time, um, we'll turn swap back on and we'll do LVS and that will show us the size. So there we go, we've actually gone and doubled our swap um, partition up to eight gig. And if I do VGS, we should see that we've got proportionally less um, volume free space. Um, so if we just go back to the host, we should expect that to, yeah, there we go. We've increased up to eight gig in swap memory um, size. 
And essentially that's it. Um, it's not too difficult, but you do need to uh, delve into the command line a bit to do it. Um, but once you've uh, once you've done that process, you you can expect to see um, that you will have a well, depending on how much uh, swap memory you're using, um, you may see an improvement in the performance um, depending on on what the workload you've, you're running is. Um, anyway, that's about it for now. Um, please like and subscribe if that's your kind of thing. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.